Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques. Learn everything about Excel. All right, today's a quick tip, um, something you uh, may know, may not know, but uh, hopefully you'll remember after this. Uh, there's a lot of wildcards within Excel. We've got asterisks, we've got tildes, question marks. Anytime you're searching for those and you want to find them or find and replace them, um, it can be kind of a bear to find, so let's do a control F and you can see where we've got the find and replace dialog box and if I do the star or the asterisk and I hit that, you see how it found one on the first and oh wait, now it's finding a tilde, now it's finding that one, a question mark, it's just basically it's finding everything. So it's not going to be what we want to do. So if anytime you ever have one of these wild cards that you're looking to find or find and replace, when you go to your find, you need to do a tilde. That's the um, shift uh, single apostrophe up by the number one on your keyboard. So up, up above the left tab. So do a tilde and then do the uh, asterisk. If I do that and do find next, you'll notice it finds it on number 12. It finds it on number one, two, three. It finds it over in C3. So you can see that that's how it's going to find it. So if you need to find a question mark, same thing. Put that tilde in front of it and you will only find the question marks. You won't find everything that you're looking for. Finally, same thing with tilde. To find a tilde, you need to do two tildes. So you need to put a tilde in front of it, and then what are you going to find? So this is saying the tilde essentially says the next character I want is an absolute value. Don't give me a wild card. So you can see if I do find next, find next, you can see it works for the tilde as well. As well, if you don't do that, and you just look for the tilde, it actually will probably jump you to the bottom right hand corner of the entire spreadsheet that you have. Once again, this is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com and also consider subscribing to my video channel so you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.